What's up guys and welcome to today's video and if any of you are catching me for the first time that's not such a bad thing because this video is mainly for you. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my channel, what I do and what's to come in the future. I mainly do walkthroughs as you can see here we have some Fallout 4 footage. See there you can see the helicopter, the trees, the ground, this is the vault. This is the vault where you get in at the start of the game so don't have to worry about anything else in this video for any spoilers because it won't be for any games that I've played. But I'm mainly just showing you clips of the game, some of my favourite moments and some moments that I've gone through and recorded. So as you can see in the background there, that's my Fallout series, just showing the nuke going off at the start and this elevator is just going to lower down now with it nice. So yeah, that's my Fallout series which I just want to say I want you to highly check out, I'm really enjoying that series and I'm having such support from it, it's insane. Also do other games as you can see here, I've got a little clip from the Spider-Man game, just wanted to include that for you. Because those games are just, oh, the mint, they're just so, so much fun. I've got Lego Batman 3, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego Jurassic World, which actually getting me nothing because it's all monetized. Yeah, you get, you get done for everything on that game. But anyway, it's not about that. I'm going to tell you about the main reason today for this episode, which is plans for the future. That's right, plans for the future. I'm going to basically do something special. For every time my sub count rises, all the way from 1,000 to 5,000 to 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, 500,000. And the big one that it is, the 100,000, which basically is like my goal. I know one YouTuber does um just does reactions at the moment. He does like sort of reviews on movies as well. That's sort of what he's gone into now. He started with reactions, now he's moved into reviews and he's done all different stuff. But yeah, he, he, he's basically set himself a goal of 1 million subscribers. And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, exactly. That's my goal as well. At the moment, i got 15. But hell, you got to start somewhere. And that's basically putting out this video so you can learn a bit about this channel. And see if you enjoy it. You might not, you might. Who knows. And here we are now just coming <laughs> straight back out of the vault. So, the first one, which is 1,000 subs. Which is something just very simple. It's actually hard to think about all these because there's seven to think of. And I wanted to wanted it really to be each one a little bit special but some of them is quite hard some of them are actually very very good ones but some of them are just basically fillers in the gaps because I can't just have a gap where it goes from say 10,000 to 100,000 I want to basically meet that half halfway mark so the first one which is 1,000 which is something very simple just play a game with one of my subscribers if I've got loads of fans out there might as well play some games with them but not only just with them also against them say for example I could play them against Rocket League which is like a fantastic game. I just, I really do love that game. It's so much fun. I could play them against them, say, about Star Wars Battlefront. It's an alright online multiplayer game. I tell you the best. I've also got FIFA, Battlefield, Call of Duty. I do occasionally play some of them, but I do find those games have just gone a little bit off lately. So them just, yeah, they don't give me the thrill anymore. Call of Duty, it's too... No, it's too future, it's too future warfare crap. Well, advanced warfare they call it. With all this war running and shit like that. No, it's it's not my cup of tea anymore. I like the realistic touch of Modern Warfare 2, which was this height. And then I would say Modern Warfare 1, then Modern Warfare 3. And then it drops down. But yeah, I mean, when it got to a bit Modern Warfare 3, it started to lack off for me a bit. But yeah, that was, I've lost those games now. I've just lost touch for them. They just don't, really don't stick to me anymore. FIFA's all the same. Battlefield 4 I struggled to get into and Call of Duty has just died for me now so I do mainly do mainly do walkthrough campaigns as you can see here on Fallout 4 this is when I discovered the alien <laughs> yeah guys I'm not going to tell you where he is I ju I'm just going to show you a little clip coming up soon where the spaceship is and that's basically the alien gets out of the spaceship and gets in the cave here as you can see I wanted to be friends with him but nah that didn't go to plan no no please oh join me no I don't want to kill you no, please. Don't <laughs> <go through. laughs> oh, you can just see me saying no, no over and over again. Oh, oh. So cool. it was an amazing game for all that. It really was there because his head. Oh, right, man. next one, five thousand sub count, five thousand. I was gonna do a hundred subs, five hundred, then you know, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand going up. But I decided not to bother to do it. And guys, on the screen there, that's the alien blaster pistol. You might already, you might already have this. There is a fair chance you have. But if any of you haven't, and you want to know what the alien looks like, what he's in a cave, is basically telling you his location, but not his actual location on the map. Just telling you he's in a cave. The cave could be anywhere. And showing you what weapons he's got. He has that weapon, and it comes with about 436 bullets, I think. So yeah, I just want to show you that. And here's Trevor just beating the shit out of some bikers. <laughs> I had to include this scene because it's like my best intro to a character ever. But yeah, I got a bit off topic there. 5,000, which is, 
basically sub of the week which is going to be out of all my subscribers probably about once a week or say once every two weeks or a month if i'm ever so busy i will have to apologize but i will make it up in numbers if i don't release a video in a day i'll release like two the next something like the longs of that and that is basically sub of the week which is really checking out their channel i'm going to look through my subscribers subscribers that are making videos must point out and i'm just going to say to you like check out these guys these guys are sub to me they love watching my videos and basically return something back to them and say to you check out these guys absolutely amazing do some great footage great content hell it might be better than me but it's a fair chance it might be to be fair <laughs> my channel was taking a long time to get off the ground but you know what it will eventually you just got to keep trying so yeah that's going to be 5,000 subs and I'm going to at the end of every week on a Sunday or it depends on whatever you decide to be the last day of the week I'm just going to say Here's a channel, check it out guys, go and check their videos out, give them some views, give them some support, subscribe to them, and give them some love. So in the background here you see Lego Batman 3, great game, real fun, um, bit of an issue to do commentary on it because it's not a game I can really commentate on and actually play through because there isn't really a lot to say because it's, you know, it's a lot of kids jokes because it is a, for ages 3 onwards, but it, I tell you what, it's a good game to play, I'm in my 20s, I am, I know people in the 30s that play this game because the games are just I just want to describe them as the games being mint saying all oh, these games are mint and it's just like the perfect word to describe it's so much fun it's got Lego for when you was a kid and superheroes when you used to read the comics and you see the films it is so fun I tell you what playing this flash in this game is so fun you see me running around them in a bit I tell you what, I absolutely love playing them it is absolutely he's, he's one of the best superpowers out there has to be running I don't care what you say but yeah in this one 10,000 sub count we moved up to now and that is basically gonna be face cam guys face cam show my face but with a bit of a difference wow, wow. bit of a difference there's gonna be me on there camera on me but i'm gonna wear in basically some kind of hat you know one of those thin tight ones say like a woolly hat or something like that and some glasses on and you might be thinking why is he doing that exactly because it really makes no sense but it does cover the top of my top of my head and it covers my eyes and you can be surprised how how much of a disguise it is it's it's quite crazy as you can see there we just had uncharted 3 and this is the last of us loving the last of us and uncharted fantastic games but as i was saying the disguise works it really 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 does work i've shown pictures of me wearing a hat and some glasses say if it's just aviators which are reflective or it's actually glasses where you know help your vision even though i don't need them but you know i just have the middle bits cut out and I've said like, oh, do you know what this is? And I looked, friends and family haven't actually recognised it. I'm like, that's me. And like, the hat covers my hair, my ears, and then like, the glasses uh, cover my eyes in the slightest way. But you know, it's a Superman effect that you can really do. You really do hide in plain sight. It's as simple as that. So yeah, face cam covered with hat and glasses for that one. And there's a bit of a story behind that as well. So uh, me and my friend used to play this scary game, and we put a phone, um, my old phone, above his laptop screen. Or I think he was in the top corner on one of his desks. And we recorded us playing it. And we com we completely forgot it was recording. And we recorded it for about two hours. And then the one day I found it on my phone. Like a week later. And I don't know how I picked up the phone. I, just, I must have just put it in my pocket. Because I didn't I didn't click cancel record or anything like that. Or stop recording. And when I got back I just found out my phone was recording. I was like stop. What, what am I doing? But yeah as I was saying I checked it like a week later. And I found a whole recording on there. And I was viewing it and watching us playing like scary games and, and watching us jump scare and freaking out and <laughs> being absolutely scared to our very core and then playing other games and discussing about the game and how beautiful it made it was and the storyline and the characters and the detail and, we was, and I was just like wow we actually do make some pretty entertaining footage with the face cams so I was like yeah that's got to be something I've got to include in the future right the next one 50,000 subscribers yeah the numbers are getting big now guys we're into five digits we're into halfway through to five digits almost to the hundred thousand well i say almost actually nowhere near is halfway but yeah this is something i mentioned in the last point there the ten thousand one, which was basically just play scary games guys this is a bit of a little one to be fair i didn't know what to put but it felt like it should be this far up the list because as you go up each one gets more and more cool i like to say but this was just something very simple play scary games get the face come on everyone loves a scary game um, watching a YouTuber play a scary game. I mean, I especially do. Even if you don't miss it or not, watching them play games, even if they're good at it, and they conquer for the game, like, wow, how are you doing this? Because I'm scrolling down and I'm looking in the comments, which you all do, you can't even deny. <laughs> Everyone does it. 
Or basically, you like to watch a YouTuber that's crap at the game and watch him jump about, which is just as fun. So, well, I've watched some amazing YouTubers out there do some content where they're just jumping out of their skin and they do it with friends and they back and forth to argue and it creates just some amazing footage. So, yeah, that's just, just a very simple one that is 50,000 subscribers play scary games, simple as that, just a little one. 100,000 guys, 100,000. When I get to those six digits, it's going to feel absolutely amazing. I tell you what, when I get to 100, it's going to feel amazing. When I got to 10 and I got to two digits, it felt amazing. Mind you, it feels amazing with every sub that I get. It really does. But this is Dart and Head, many, many subscribers to 100,000. Where this one is kind of a nice special one. Ever so often, probably say about once a month or say every two months or maybe if I want to do a bit more than that say six weeks we go in the middle six weeks I'm going to do something really special which is basically if you live in the same country as me which is England United Kingdom I'm going to drive out and I'm just going to meet you y you may be surprised you may not you probably have to do something simple like subscribe comment on a video you don't have to like the video if you don't want to but as long as you comment, that's the main thing, and subscribe, that'll keep me happy. And then I'll just get down the list of comments, I'll dart through, and I'll just pick out someone. I'll message them, and I'll say to them, for example, meet up, I'll bring my camera, my recording software, we'll have a day of it, have a laugh, play some games, freaking hell. Meet some bad bitches, <laughs> all that shit. No, I'm kidding, we will show act responsible. But yeah, I'm going to play some games together, meet you, meet some of the fans, which is the main point. Because my channel can't grow without you guys, so even though I do all the videos, you guys are really the amazing ones. At the moment, I've got 15 subs, and each one of them is amazing. They really are. Hopefully that 15 can be doubled to 30, and then I can get into the hundreds and into the thousands. But at the moment, I'm happy with 15. It's looking good. The channel is slowly growing. But every day... Every day it grows that little bit bigger. That's all I gotta think about. A little bit bigger. So yeah, that's a hundred thousand subs, and that's me driving out and actually meeting you, and basically hanging out for maybe about two hours, maybe even three, depends on how much time you got. If I've got all day, I should have a laugh you all day. I really will. But yeah, that's basically it. Just meeting one of my subscribers, say every six weeks, meeting one of you fans, one of you people that help my channel grow, and just meeting you legends because you really are absolute legends right this one pretty similar to last one in a way this one's at 500,000 subscribers guys 500,000 half a million it is really a big number well this one's very simple I'll probably do a video and then at the start of the video or at the end I'll say something like subscribe comment on this video and you'll be entered into a draw to basically win a prize and guys, I say the word basically a lot, I've noticed. <laughs> Every time I say basically, have a drink. Be a fun drinking game, you'll really enjoy it. Yeah, um, giveaway prizes. Simple. Subscribe, comment on that video. Whatever that video makes, say a certain percentage, say 50%. I'll buy a gift. Maybe some kind of PlayStation, Xbox, a certain game, two remotes, something like that. Maybe some kind of package gift. And I'll just send it to you. All you have to do is just comment on the video, be a subscriber, and you can enter. And I'll pick one of you, and you can win the prize. It'll be something as simple as that. Basically, me, you guys, helping me grow my channel, making that funding. And then I'll just basically, I can just spend a bit of it on you to say thank you. You never know. All you have to do is sub and comment on the video. And you might be that lucky person to just be one of those lucky people. Get that break and just win a couple of prizes simple as that because some people say they're into YouTube and they don't do it for the money I I did it as a laugh at first and then my mate was like oh some YouTubers make 30 grand a year and I was like wow you can make money and as I looked into it I realized wow you can and then I thought to myself like I've got a little sister I've got a mother who basically we never had much money and it'd be nice for my parents to have money and my little sister who's like just been born and have an amazing life so when I say I'm in this for the money half 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 of me is and the other half actually is doing this because I enjoy it because I enjoy playing games and I enjoy like recording them and commentating them and giving them my view on them so yeah it is a 50-50 for that 
put, I mean, games have been a huge part of my life. I'm always going to be playing them, no matter what. I'm always going to be commenting on them. Because I, I always hear people say it, but I enjoy doing YouTube. I really do. It's a laugh. It's it's amazing. It's hard to fit around personal life, work, and doing YouTube all together. It really is difficult, but I do make it work. It's just about. It's difficult, but I just about make it work. But yeah, that's the main one, guys. 500,000. Me giving away prizes, doing something for you, giving back to you guys, because you guys are awesome. One million dollars, Dr. Evil. Yeah, that's my shit impression of Dr. Evil. That wasn't even really an impression, that was just me saying the lines from the film. Pretty shit. But yeah, guys, one million subs, which is a lot of people, it's a lot to ask, but I'm going to get to it one day, I really am. And one million subs is face reveal, guys. Simple as that, face reveal. It is... It's so simple, but yet so effective. Loads of you want to know what I look like. People have seen videos of me while I record with a phone. Just quickly, just say I've got some recording issues. And like, there's my face was reflected in the screen slightly. I was like, oh, so bad. You want to see your face? Please let me see your face. But now, it's something I've got to save to my million subscribers because I've seen people start their channel with their face showing, and people will either take the piss of how they do their videos, you know what I mean by how they commentate, how they move, how they act, the body language, the face, people don't take the piss out of their looks, personality, the law, it's really bad, and then some people go even further to the fact of they'll insult their family, like little brothers and sisters, older ones, um, parents, mom, dad, and like they'll even go to like such extreme lengths when they're like say, they'll attack their grandparents, which I see on pictures, and like these grandparents won't even be alive anymore, which I find like really sick. So it's something that I can't start out my channel doing. It's a bit risk. It's it's very very big risk for me to show my face because then I could go anywhere and I could bump into someone. And I could essentially lose that bit of privacy in my life. But you know what? If 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 it gets to a million people and I got a million subscribers asking for it, then yeah, I I definitely will. It would be absolutely amazing. Show my face, meet all you amazing guys. Hell yeah, I'll have abuse phone at me, but you know I can take it on the chin. I do it all the time. One of the first videos I put on YouTube, someone commented it, commented um, on the video saying, this is complete shit. <laughs> and I commented back saying, like, laugh out loud. I'm trying my best. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that's why I wanted to save it till last, mainly the face reveal. When I come to a million subscribers, because I'm definitely going to get it. I'm, I'm not being big-headed or anything like that. I'm, I'm not being that at all. But it's basically the effort that I'm going to pull in. I'm going to get to a million subscribers. I'm always doing different things on my videos. But well, million subscribers will be achieved, I can tell you that guys, because I'm going to try and try and try and keep that. So that's it guys, that is my target, from 1000, which is the first part, all the way up to 1 million, which would probably be the last, because if I set myself one for 5 million, or maybe even 10 million, you could imagine that, 10 million, it's just, nah, I can't see that happening guys. 1 million I'll be happy with, I'll be actually over the moon. But that is my test, that is my target, and with each little step that I accomplished, you know, from 1,000 to five to 10,000, each one has a little bit of a reward for you, for subscribing, so yeah, hope you really enjoy that. And I love this bit over here. Get the fuck out of the way, mate. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah, guys, I wanted to put this highest on because this is just a great moment from the game. It really is. But yeah, guys, that is my total count. Now, on to the next point, which I want to say is upcoming future stuff, because that's telling you my sub count excuse me that's telling you my sub count but up next at the moment i just do walkthroughs but i did a review the other day of a film and that film was deadpool with ryan reynolds in 2016 if you're watching this way in the future 2016 it was and i'll tell you what guys the film was so good i did a review for it but i had a couple of problems getting it in the type of video format and all these different stuffs and getting it the right quality to get it up on youtube and looking good but when i watched it back even though i was in some shit quality it was really really good i liked what i did and i thought to myself should i do that for deadpool but at the moment now it's been it's been about two weeks since <laughs> mission failed there oh that fucked up so bad as i was saying it's been about two weeks after deadpool has come out now so the, the review is a bit late so i thought to myself should I review Deadpool or should I just not bother and wait for someone else? And then I remembered that in a month's time, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice is coming out. And I thought to myself, I mean, I, I thought to myself, I love movies, I really do. I could talk about them all day and there's nothing nothing better than actual YouTube. So I get a chance to talk to them, talk to all you lot about all their movies out there. 
and you lot will listen, you'll comment, you'll hopefully you'll enjoy it. So, Batman vs Superman has to be my first movie review. But before that even comes out, guys, I'm showing you how I would basically like the DC Extended Universe to go. I've seen Marvel, I've seen how them do it. They've got really good points. They have some bad points, some bad movies, and some excellent movies. But I'm basically going to show it to you how I want the DC Universe to go, what character to use, what films in what order, when to bring them together in Justice League, all these different parts, what even to label the films. And I've even got plots for each individual film. At this moment in time, Only Man is Still One has come out. Batman v Superman, like I said, is coming out next month, so we still got that to come. And I've got a whole script sorted out for that, guys, and it seems very, very good. There was a trailer released, trailer 2, I think it was, and it's shown Doomsday at the end, which some people think is very controversial. I still think it's stupid, but when you think about it, guys, there is no other person that they really could have used there. Maybe Lex in his robot armor suit type thing. But there's no one else I've got to use. But guys, I'm not going to get into all that detail here because that is saved for that video, which I'm going to put up roughly in a month's time. Basically, any time before the film comes out. Because I can't, I can't wait for the film to come out and then put my storyline that I think because that's just stupid. It really makes no sense. So yeah, guys, that is a couple of stuff I got to come. I got movie reviews, um, my own movies, how I would like them to go, my plans, talking about news that comes out to do with comic books, because I'm all into these comic books, I'm all into the films, I read comics, I've got loads of different cool stuff, and yeah, I just basically want to show you my views, my views, sorry, of how stuff should go, and hopefully you enjoy it, whoa, that jump, so yeah guys, that has been this episode, if you've enjoyed it, please like, hopefully you'll subscribe, because you'll like what you see and what's gonna happen soon, oh my god, that copper car got fucked, <laughs> And your comment underneath, which is the main thing, always leave yeah, a comment, guys, because I always try and get back to you, no matter when I can. So, yeah, guys, that has been the end of this episode. I'm out of here, guys. See you in a bit.